my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today it's a big day in the United States and I would like to wish all my American friends happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy this amazing celebration and I would like to wish you all the best, all the success, all the money and I would like to wish you especially a lot of lot of health. We're living in the crazy times where this pandemic kind of is changing our lives but the most importantly enjoy the time with the family i know this is something which is extremely important and this is the celebration what it's all about so enjoy those moments because i think they are extremely important and they can really bring some fresh and new energy to our life so before i jump into our today's topic tomorrow it's a black friday so i also did something special i cut off my prices when it comes to my tutorial 50 percent so if you're looking to update your skills and your knowledge when it comes to headshot photography check out those courses there's one course about business headshots and there's one about retouching so Please, if you planning to um, get those courses, there's, I would say, the best moment to get them. And I'm sure those tutorials will definitely take your headshot photography to another level. I will put all those stuff in the description so you guys are gonna have all the information down there. If there is anything else you would like to ask or there are some concerns, please feel free to contact me at any time. Okay, so let's jump into our today's video and today i would like to continue and i would like to show you another concept for creative background for your headshot photography and this is going to be fairly quick this is something which is really easy and really inexpensive concept and i hope you guys are going to be able to use it especially right now as i mentioned in my last video we are in the kind of christmas season where there's a lot of lot of interesting stuff out there which we can definitely use to create something unique something different and something i would say a little bit more artistic and today i want to talk about wrapping paper so this is something which i know for some people like this is something crazy but again this is something which we can definitely use to create interesting background and there are so many of them out there it's just kind of crazy i went for some little bit of shopping and i was just so overwhelmed with so many different options so many different i would say types of this wrapping paper so you can really take advantage and buy a lot of those things and kind of use throughout the year so I just want to show you this concept today but before we jump into actual photo shoot and the actual results I want to tell you about a couple of important elements and a couple of important things you need to know before you actually get into this concept and you, before you start even shooting with this wrapping paper so the first thing you want to make sure that this paper is not glossy because what's going to happen when your light from your lighting is going to bounce off this background you're going to get a lot of high highlights and this is not gonna look good before you purchase it make sure that you pick the wrapping paper which is fairly matte the more matte it is it's, it's gonna basically reflect light more evenly so this is something which is i have to say extremely important i play with different ones and i have few glossy ones which yeah didn't work so don't make the same mistakes um try to find something which's gonna work much much better and you're gonna get great results the second thing what i want to mention is try to find the wrapping paper which has some kind of patterns but also have some kind of contrast there's also things which you can choose when it comes to different colors and then different types of patterns but the ones which i choose one was was red the other one was blue and you can see this kind of contrasty elements on it which they can definitely help you to keep this amazing pattern on your background so i choose a couple of them which i think they work really really well so make sure that there's some this paper itself has some kind of contrasty elements which going to create this interesting pattern the second thing what i want to also mention i think that's the third one make sure when you're going to be 
putting this paper on the wall make sure that you actually just put them so you're not gonna lose the pattern because like when I started putting those stuff and I just like didn't pay attention to making sure that I'm matching the pattern and then on the photos this kind of look really really weird and then you know you could see that this whole thing was kind of like a stick together so whenever you're gonna be just putting uh, those sheets of paper right beside each other make sure the pattern match each other so that you're gonna get really nice and consistent background so let's jump into the photo shoot again typical lighting Rembrandt main light on one side kicker light behind and I add a little bit of light for the background and one of the things which you also have to remember when it comes to getting great results from wrapping paper make sure your subject is a little bit closer to the background because what's going to happen the more away you are from the background the the pattern is going to be more blurred and you're going to lose this whole interesting thing and because the paper is flat and it doesn't have this kind of reflective areas which they just bounce light all over each other you have to get close enough so you so your camera can pick up the pattern from the paper so that's something which is extremely important I try to play with different distances and the closer I got to uh, the background the better results I was getting so when it comes to you remember my last video where I was playing with the Guerlain's the more away you were that's where you were getting better results in this case it's kind of opposite you have to get closer to the background to make sure that the, you can pick up the pattern and the photo shoot went really really well I work with beautiful model we did some kind of creative stuff and we tried to kind of play with you know different ideas and, and, and different things just to kind of make this work but at the end I really like the results because it's something different something unique and I really didn't expect I'm gonna get this type of um, interesting look from those headshots so one tip again get on it because those papers are as I said extremely inexpensive there's so many of them to, to choose from these days and you can create even some kind of like a little kind of selection or, or collection of different papers for your upcoming um, headshot session and you can use them for not only those creative stuff I'm sure some of them they will be very very good to even do some business type of headshots because the patterns are really really interesting and you can get some really Really, really cool stuff out of it okay so I'm gonna put in description when it comes to um, the power of the lighting the equipment I use I'm not gonna pretty much kind of go over this you guys probably have heard that a million times and I, again I've been using this equipment for a decade now and I'm not changing much so everyone who is following me for a little bit you guys probably know all this stuff already so I'm just gonna put them like on my description list so you guys can just take a look but again those things that just don't change so I hope you guys like the images um, I think they turn out really really well definitely in post-production you can add a little bit of, I would say own flavor to them you can play with the colors you can definitely kind of make them look even more interesting but the concept itself can give you so many different options when it when it comes to creating something very very unique and different so if you guys are gonna have any additional questions or you guys gonna have any concerns um, I would love to see if you guys come up with some ideas or you guys kind of found something which can be used for this type of background and again there, there's there's lots of stuff out there my favorite place of course for stuff like that is Walmart because they are also selling them in bulk so you can get like five ten of them and each of them is different and this is pretty cool because it's just five dollars and you can get five different back drops for your headshot photography like that's that's basically I think that's the best deal ever so thank you for watching I hope that was interesting and if you guys are gonna have any additional questions as I mentioned you know where to find me please contact me and I'll be more than happy to answer all the questions so again to all my American friends and I think we could I can say that to everybody out there who's watching have a fantastic Thanksgiving and I'll chat with you guys in the next few days Thank you and bye-bye.